Hey everyone, Will Yard Sales Survivalist here with my flea market finds for May 18th and 19th, 2013. Had another really good weekend of finds. Uh, really happy with what I got. A lot of stuff to show you. Uh, as you can tell, it's a little bit rainy out. Kind of uh, put a damper on uh, my finds for today, but I already had a pretty good amount. Uh, so uh, let me show you what I got. First up, uh, Nathan's demonstrating the uh, air hockey table we got. How much should we pay for that, Nathan? Five dollars. Five dollars. That's a pretty good deal, huh? You want to beat me today? Yep. Yep, I'm practicing. So uh, we'll let the, uh, let the kids play with that a while. And uh, when they get tired of it, we'll uh, um, put it on Craigslist. Uh, moving on, we got uh, the uh, fishing creel, wicker fishing creel. I think this was made uh, pretty much to be as decoration, uh, more than uh, to be used. Um, but five dollars on that, and probably a thirty dollar item. I did really good with my uh, cookie jar canister that sold uh, last week or the week before. Got 25 for that. So when I found this whole canister set from about the 60s or 70s, um, at $15, I went for it, took a chance on it. The uh, chrome needs a little clean in here, but uh, clean it up just a little bit and uh, uh, we'll. Uh, We'll get it on uh, in the store. Uh, who knows, something like 50 bucks, somewhere around there. And it's made by uh, Chromex, the uh, same people that made the uh, canister I sold. Uh, might be a good, good deal there. Got some brass figures, uh, seagulls, pretty heavy brass. Paid uh, seven dollars for the set. It's probably a $25 set right there. Um, got a uh, Gillette razor in the box. Gem. Yeah, I haven't looked that one up yet. Uh, five bucks. Uh, old razors are doing pretty good. This is pretty neat in that it uh, takes the uh, one-sided razor. Uh, got some boxing stuff here. Autograph picture of Pete Galliano it says uh, to my friend Whitey, health and happiness always. Pete uh, Galliano, never heard of him, but uh, local Baltimore boxer. So uh, um, who knows? That was eight bucks. Uh, got a couple Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, from uh, from flights that he had, a couple uh, got ticket stubs and the uh, pamphlets. I don't know what you call it. They've been um, laminated, so I'm not sure how that's going to affect the value of them. But uh, it's from '78, and this one, well, they're both from '78. Uh, Rocky Ramon and Rafael Rodriguez. So. Um, paid eight apiece for those and paid eight for this one it was uh, a page out of a scrapbook bunch of uh, boxing tickets on it all from the 66-67 uh, um, somebody really liked boxing that's pretty neat they left a note here I saw this fight when Lee and Jose Myers off Philadelphia really went at it. Very good fight. Pretty neat. Um, so I'll need something on the back here. Um, just uh, somebody into uh, into boxing stuff uh, should do okay. Uh, we'll see. Eyeball picture. Man and woman holding a gun. Uh, just uh, 
kind of weird looking, but uh, kind of odd. So took a chance on that for five bucks just because it's unusual. Uh, John F. Kennedy, heavy glass, nice piece, got some scratches in it. Paid ten for that, might have overpaid. Uh, nice big old timer knife, made by Schrade. This is the model 150T. Uh, nice leather sheath, and that was uh, $10. Uh, right next to it, it's a, I guess it's for uh, putting icing on a cake. It's very flexible. Um, antique knife, cake knife. But the reason I bought it, see, it's L, F, and C. I know L, F, and C from uh, the World War I knives. They used to make the, uh, the uh, trench knives uh, used in World War I. Um, so maybe a... Uh, Maybe a baker will buy this, or maybe somebody into uh, um, the World War I knives will want this to go along uh, with their collection. Uh, really like this. It's a, uh, um, I think the guy said it was uh, Polaris, uh, 61 Polaris, uh, Dodge Polaris. Brand new. Uh, it does have a couple little dents it's picked up from the, you know, it's, well, it's, what, 50 years old. So, uh, still a neat looking piece. I, I love the jet engine uh, look of that. Somebody could take this and hang it on her wall. Still the box that come in, I uh, got the part number. Paid seven for that. If it was in mint condition, I think that'd be a hundred dollar piece, but it's not. Um, still... Should make some money on that. I uh, got a uh, McCoy piece. Really paid five dollars for it. Kind of a mid-century, you know, 50s, 60s. You can kind of make that out, McCoy. Uh, have to look that up. Not sure the value. Eh, at least a twenty-dollar vase. Uh, piece of uh, Royal Copley, you can tell Royal Copley from the ridges on the bottom, a uh, little uh, Mexican boy planner, it was probably a Mexican girl that went with this, marked USA on the back, uh, paid five for him, and that's probably probably a $20, $25 planner. Uh, some uh, Nippon porcelain. Kind of a neat piece, got an odd shape to, to this. I'm guessing that's a gravy gravy dish, not sure. Uh, that was, um, I think that was $5. A little cup and saucer, kind of smaller than a normal cup and saucer, but I don't know if I would call this a demi toss or not. Uh, got some interesting markings on the bottom here. Can't really make it out. Uh, looks like a quality piece though. Seven dollars on that. Uh, tape dispenser. Uh, never seen a tape dispenser like this before. It's not an old piece or anything, but uh, um, I'm gonna give this to my wife. Uh, she'll probably uh, like having that over the uh, regular old uh, Scotch brand uh, tape dispenser. I don't know if these are for a child or if they're for an adult to use. They're uh, like little skis, or maybe they're meant to be used like snowshoes. Ten dollars for the pair. They don't look like they've ever been used. Marked on the front, uh, F.D. Peters Company, Gloversville, New York. Interesting pieces uh, for ten bucks. Um, Got to look them up. Not sure what they'll bring. Uh, Camel lighter uh, made by Zippo. Uh, what hurts it is uh, well, it's from 1992. What hurts it is that uh, somebody put their initials on it. That's going to uh, really hurt the value. But it is Camel. 
five bucks on that. We're at the 10 minute mark already. Uh, so I'm going to end this, make this uh, part one. We'll start up part two on the car uh, in a few uh, seconds.